Hey, what's up? So in this video, what I want to do is show an update to my convention display setup. If you look at this picture, this is from our first convention. It was in Hickory, North Carolina. It's about three weeks ago. They're going to have another convention. It's in the exact same place. And I was thinking about not going, but since I've updated my display, I think maybe I should go just to see if it kind of makes any difference. Um, I don't think that people didn't buy anything from me just because of the display, but I think it's it might be good to just see how the display works as far as like seeing what attracts people and um, if I might be able to better catch people's attention. So this was the display we had at the first convention. I thought that uh, what I had was like, oh, was pretty clever and everything. And then I had the backdrop and I had these, you know, 11 by 17 top loaders with magnets on it. And then I could put them up on the backdrop and on the tablecloth and all that kind of stuff. And I could rearrange them if I needed to. But it, what it turned out was that, you know, nobody paid any attention to this down here what's on front of the tablecloth and the backdrop is just too far away for anybody to really you know notice that so <clears throat> especially with these little prints on the back back there nobody can really even see those and I had to push it back because we needed the space back there to sit down and to keep you know the boxes that we had for all the stuff so what I've decided to do is um, I got more of these um, wire great cube thing majigs whatever from uh, Amazon and like I was talking about last time I made this so this is um, as you see it's, it goes over like an, an arch and this gives me plenty of area to post I mean to um, hang different things like I got these 8 by 10s now that I'll be doing I got these 11 by 17s that I just had printed up by Comics Wellspring, and I've got um, four of them, and there's another one I'll show later. And down here on the table, I'm still going to have this stuff here because these are just like promo, the posters that I printed up, and you know, I already had them done, so I figured I might as well just put them somewhere and put them there on the front. Maybe um, people it'll catch some people's attention and we'll put them on there, so they're still on in the top loaders. And I put little hooks, um, stuck little hooks on the back that I got at the dollar store. There's a whole pack. Uh, I think it's like 12 of them for like a dollar or 25. And uh, under that is, uh, it's also more of that, more of this uh, wire cubes things. And I just sort of made like a corner piece and then just laid that on top of the table. And so the part of it's on the top part of the table and the other part hangs down so that I can hang these posters and things uh, so we'll go to the next the next picture this shows the, the top of the table um, I still have the, the flyer over here because I think that's important so even if people at the show maybe they initially they're like they're kind of hesitant about buying anything but maybe if I give this to them they may go home and look at it later go to the website go to the Kickstarter and then rethink it and then say oh, okay this sounds kind of cool and uh and then maybe they'll uh, buy something or, you know, um, back the campaign. So I want to keep giving, uh, have that flyer there so people can do it, uh, take a look at it. And then we have the uh, <clears throat> the uh, the big book so people can flip through. It's got my daughter's art. And I'll have more, later on I'll have printed up more different 11 by 17s for the different books. So I'll have more of those in there too. I can also put some of the 8 by 10s in there as well. So we got that one book there. Uh, we'll still have the stickers here in the front because they're small. And that, that seemed to be something that attracted a lot of people. You know, people buy stickers and even they don't care anything about the books or whatever. But, you know, some for some reason people just like stickers. Um, so that it's important to keep that in the front then i got the metal i made this new display this was uh so i got a bunch of these little these white sort of book um holder things i don't know i think they're really designed for cookbooks so when 
people are in the kitchen they're cooking they have they put a cookbook down and it'll kind of raises it up a little bit at an angle so they can read it while you're cooking i think that's what it's for what they're really designed for but they're just plastic little white things and it comes over and comes back down the other side what i did is i for the books i turned it around and then behind the book has um a piece of the um the board, the foam board that I cut out, and that helps to keep the book straight up and also put the little signage on it, glued some signage there that has reviews of the books. It tells them, you know, how much the price is, and it tells them there are, you know, only so many copies printed, uh, like this one, and all this little information. So they could see that right away, but it's not like last time. Just to go back to that one again. You see the way I had it here, it's just sticking up way too high. And it's kind of blocking us when we're sitting back there. And I think it's um, kind of obtrusive. So I think this is a, a better idea. So I took that original sign. I just cut that part off of it. And then I put that on the, on the back on this wire. So that way it's still there. So when people pass by and, you know, you still have that effect. The, they will maybe can relate to something that a known franchise or character or whatever. And that might attract them to it. So I'll still have that there, and this one's over here for 6'8". And um, back here is, uh, this is actually a laptop stand that I got at Goodwill. Kind of, It can raise up, and it can go at different angles. Um, I think you can also buy them brand new at Ollie's. They have them. Uh, I saw them like last weekend. They're like 15 or 20 bucks. But it's pretty cool because you can raise it up or lower it down and all the different kinds of uh, angles that you can put it at. So I figured I put the, for a gun engine zero, I put the sign here for my daughters. I put that there. So it raises it up a little bit. It doesn't go too high. And then I can put the books right in front of them um, using that also that little um, stand that all these others have too. And then I've got... Um, can't really, I don't know if you can really see them, but um, under here, this is also from the dollar store. They're just kind of like little file paper trays, but they're flipped upside down. So that way it raises up the book a little bit um, off the table. So I can still have stuff in front of it, but it doesn't really block anything. And um, then the, like I was saying before, this, this um, display for the metal stuff, it's also from these these little white book holder things, but I took one of them and cut it in half. So there's one, and then there's a half that's um, sort of, it's not really glued together. What you see here is uh, construction paper. So I glued the construction paper on it to give it a different color background instead of just white. And then these right here are double-sided tape. So this way it creates a little shelf for um for each card and it allows me to put um you know multiple levels because later on i'll have more cards hopefully and uh it also brings the card the top of the card a little forward so that it's more kind of like facing people and uh it's several layers of double-sided tape and then the last layer i keep the uh the paper on it so it doesn't stick to the, the card um but the the lower layers you know take that off so that they stick to each other and uh so that's the that's the top of the table and across going across the top of the display we'll have this again this is what i had before show this again this is what i had before on the backdrop this was something that i found at the restore which is like a goodwill it was only 50 cents so I figured I might as well just get it. Maybe I can use it. The problem here is that these smaller prints are way far away from the table, and so no one is really going to notice them, most likely. So what I did is I just put them, I strung it across the top of the display, and I put these <clears throat> little uh, four by six black and white cards. I call them coloring cards because I figured it might be kind of a, interesting thing for people if they wanted to you know try coloring or you know just leave them the way they are um and then you can see in the back this is i kind of kept it so that one side has all the stuff for neotheric and then you have on the middle and the other side is the stuff for gun engine zero and then there's six eight and then book of legend i try to keep it all you know everything in kind of like 
one area. <clears throat> so again, this is another. It's got the eight by tens. Um, I can hang these up on the uh, on that grid. And then we got these mini prints over here. This I've uh, got all the mini prints are all in this one section. So the six eight, the neotheric, and on the bottom is gun engine zero. And uh, so you can see those here. And I'm probably gonna change this one, change the, the background design of this one, so it's not just all black. And um, these all will come in a top loader. So that's why they're a little bit more ex expensive. It's not just the not just giving people the 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 print. Uh, actually, everything, all the prints, like 11 by 17s, 8 by 10s, my daughters, 9 by 12s, they all come in a sleeve, so to to protect everything. Uh, let's see. So then on the other side, you'll see the the coloring cards for Book of Legend, and then above that is for Gun Engine Zero. So I got the metal stuff here, then you got the, this metal print, and then 6-8 right next to it, and then you got the sign for 6-8 right behind it. And, oh, just to mention, I'll go back again real quick to the big shot. So I got these little lights here. These are battery operated, and they are from the dollar store. So again, just $1.25. And what I'm going to be doing is I'll put one behind this book shining upwards so it'll light up this area. Another one behind 6-8 here and that'll light up this area. And then I'll put one on top with the light coming through the grate and then it'll shine up this area and then one up here and then it'll shine up this area. And I tried one. I put the, I've put got a bunch of rechargeable batteries. I put them in a light and I let it run and it, it lasted for more than 24 hours and um, so those things are pretty good it'll last the whole show uh, so we'll go back and these are more of the these are the 8 by 10s I made up I'll be selling those at conventions here's the 11 by 17 for gun engine zero and then here's the coloring card so everything's kind of like you know in one area um, this the other gun engine zero I did. These are by uh, Joaquin. Uh, he did these for me. These are the these are what will be on the trading card in the Kickstarter campaign. The, these images here that he did. And then again on the front, <clears throat> I just put these on the front because you know I just I made them, so I might as well use them. And maybe someone will see them and you know catch somebody's attention and and. Uh, and since it's up close in the front, they can maybe read it easier. And again, here's the top. I just I had my uh, son and daughter color a couple of these cards just so when people see it, maybe then they'll get the idea. Oh, you you color them. Oh, that's kind of you know maybe if they don't see the the sign on the end or whatever, or they you know. So so this is going to be. The display, we're going to go back to this, like I said, we're going to go back to this same place. It's going to be April 30th, and we'll just see how it goes. Maybe it'll make a difference, or maybe we'll find out that uh, I need to adjust it further. I don't know if maybe this is too big, it's too much. Uh, I don't know. So we'll see, And but I'll keep you informed, and make a video when we go to that convention and see how it goes. So we'll see you next time.